Hi, welcome. This is our second session about the habit. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. Um, today, well, just if it's the first time you are here, um, what we're doing is reading, but at the end of the session, and at the beginning, we check a little bit of vocabulary and pronunciation to read better, to improve our reading. And we are dealing with three um, with three chapters, well, more or less three chapters each month. We get together once a month. Um, but the first month, well, the first meeting, we started reading the first chapter. So the idea was to finish reading at home chapters one, two, and three. So today we can start with chapter number four. So what we're going to do is to, to summarize those first three chapters, just in case, just in case somebody didn't read them. Now, would anybody like to summarize chapter one of The Hobbit? Hi, hi, Hector. Thanks for coming. I didn't know who was behind Sociedad Tolkien Peruana. Yeah, sorry, I was connecting with the... <laughs> Hi, Alejandro, good evening. You don't have a microphone. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. You do, because here I can see it. Well, the idea is that we can summarize the previous chapters. So maybe you can think of summarizing one of these chapters, four, five, or and six, for next month. Please, Fernando Efio. Hi. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Loud and clear. It's a little bit noisy here, but I, I can try. Okay. Uh, well, I remember the first chapter. It was about uh, the presentation of the world. I mean, uh, Middle Earth for the first time. And, uh, and, and, and the hobbits. I mean, uh, what a hobbit is or... Uh, Especially in the life of of Bilbo, I mean, uh, uh, at, uh, it starts with a uh, with um, with the uh, Bilbo's uh, home uh, and description of of his of his home. I mean, the the famous the on the iconic line that's a uh, uh, hole in the in the ground or, or something, and well, it's the the encounter with or the meeting with Gandalf. Um, and these uh, iconic lines about what Gandalf says as as uh, introduction uh, itself. Then, uh, what is the conversation between them? Uh, well, I I think I, I remember the the chapter is called uh, an expected journey. Uh, I remember, but uh, it's about uh, how uh, Gandalf tried to convince him to. To uh, start an, an adventure. I yes. think uh, it's all. Uh, uh... <laughs> yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. Actually, from the first three chapters, the longest is chapter one. It's like it never ends. And when you finish reading uh, chapter one, or at least that was my <laughs> my experience. I was like, oh my god! And then chapter two should be super long, and chapter three, but no, chapters two and three are much shorter um, because as um, Luis said, uh, in, in the first chapter, everything is explained, right? Even the, uh, well, a lot of things. Very good. But what happens in the second chapter? Who read the second chapter? Somebody wants to say something? Second chapter is roast mutton. First chapter is an unexpected party. Second, roast mutton. Nobody. <laughs> well, um, I wanted to to tell you that 
personally, I, I'm always looking for things to do, uh, talking in English. And I found um, just a few months ago, two months ago, a readathon that uh, Center of Fantasy, I, I don't know the name, um, I, I should say the name correct. The Center for Fantasy in Oxford usually hosts or organizes a readathon. They have made a readathon of the Lord of the Rings, of the Silmarillion, and of the Hobbit. Well, readathon sounds like they're going to read the whole book, but it's not what they do. What they do is they ask volunteers to sign up for one chapter, and then they ask that person to present the chapter to everybody. So each day, they they give a chapter of everything. So I wanted to show it to you as uh, as also as a uh, as summarizing the these these three chapters. I'm going to show you. I'm gonna share the screen. I'm gonna share. Oops. Here I have my ten word practice chat. <laughs> This is the place I was telling you, the Center for Fantasy in Oxford. Um, and here on the featured, on, on their page, they they have, like each day they made a post about each of the, each of the chapters. So for example, this is the, the first, the first chapter for each person has to quote uh, the favorite part of, of the chapter, then, summarize it and then say what they like about the chapter so for example this person uh maybe somebody would like to read this part that is the the summary of of the first chapter i can go thank you Ah, okay. Ah, Can you see, or am I? Is it yeah, too? yeah. I, I just lost. Uh, give me a, a sec. Okay. So make it bigger. Okay. Better. Thorin Oakenshaw and his band of thirteen dwarfs show up at Bilbo Baggins at Bilbo Baggins Hobbit Hall in peaceful. Hobbiton, after Gandalf the Wizard, scratched a strange sign on the Hobbit's beautiful green front door. Bilbo has been shown by Gandalf to be the 14th member to embark upon a dangerous quest to reclaim Thorin's home and golden treasure hoard from the ruthless dragon Smaug. Bilbo seems an unlikely accomplice to the group. His role is to the group's burglar as he is an unassuming hobbit living in comfort in his home. From the start, Bilbo discovers within himself unexpected qualities of courage and cunning, and begins to develop a newfound love of adventure. Thorin had been given only a map and a key that once belonged to his father, and which has been entrusted to Gandalf to deliver to him when it was just the right time. They make their plans to, to set off on their quest for gold as it stays in one stanza of the song. Far over the misty mountains cold, to dungeons deep and caverns old, we must away our brick of day to find our long forgotten gold. Well, you had to sing that part, but no, okay. I, I <laughs> Thank you very much. So this is another summary from another point of view of, of the first chapter. How about that we read the second? The second is a little longer, but uh, and I don't know how to go. <laughs> Maybe here. Sing. <laughs> yeah, you see, we have requests to sing, but you know. I know. What did I do? Ah, what am I doing? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to to home to to find them. 
here in photos, I, I think it's easier for me to go. <clears throat> I think this is the first, yes. And this is the second. Okay. I don't know if the, the size is okay because it's smaller. Well, I make it bigger. This is the next. Jeff, do you want to read? Or Manuel? What does A AFK mean? I'm looking for a yes. Yes. Thank you. Here. Chapter two. Okay. Uh, on that text, no? No? Um, the next morning, Bilbo gets up and he noticed that the dwarf and Gandalf have left his house and is annoyed because he has to clean up the mischief which the dwarf has caused. After getting over his initial disappointment, Bilbo eats breakfast and Gandalf appears unexpectedly and draw Bilbo's attention <clears throat> from the door that he has overlooked, informing him that he is expected at the Green Dragon in, in a few minutes. Without being able to prepare and pack his things, Bilbo leaves his house in a hurry and shows up just in time for the creek appointment. They don't begin their long journeys and, <laughs> and Bilbo's great adventure beginning. After a few days, Gandalf leaves the small traveling party. The companions spotlight in a forest near their campsite. Bilbo, the master chief, is supposed to prove his skills and get a meal for the hungry traveling party. He encounters. Okay. He, uh, he encounters three trolls and is unfortunately captured. The tree begins to curl and uh, whereupon Bilbo takes his chains and hides in the bush. The dog, wondering about Bilbo's long absence, enter the scene and are immediately put into sight by the trolls. When uh, when the trolls begin to act again, Gandalf suddenly appears and set the trolls against each other again and again in a this voice until it is morning. And the troll, trolls turn to stone. Afterwards, Gandalf and Bibo free the dwarf and they enter the nearby troll cave where they find gold provisions and three elven swords, or Chris for Thorin, Glamdrin for Gandalf, and a shorter one for Bill, who he later names his team. Thank you very much. So this I okay. I, I, I loved this this um, this chapter because I had the idea uh, that the action was going to be much later, not right in the second chapter with the trolls also that are so famous. And last but not least, uh, the third chapter. Do we have a volunteer to read the, it's a short summary. Here, somebody, someone, anyone? Do you want me to call you out? <laughs> Rose, would you like to read? Ah, Juan Daniel, 
Thank you, Panamie. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. In this lovely chapter, we follow the party after defeating trolls. It starts with them tired and hungry, trying, trying to find their way to Rivendell. Along the way, Bilbo encounters many things for the first time, such as mountains and elves with their songs. When they finally arrive, they meet Elrond and have a, spl a splendid time recharging their energy. There, they also learn about the origin of the swords they found earlier, as well as about moon letters and the day that will show them, and the day that will show them the key, the keyhole of the secret door in the mountain. With their lifted spirits and rested bodies, they prepare to continue on their journey. Thank you very much. Thank you, Juan Daniel. So this is our first three chapters. And now, before going to the fourth chapter, we are going to Kahoot. Are you ready? Thank you, NN, always anonymous. We need more than one person so we can play. Perfect. Two, we can start with two people, but we could have more. Atandi. Ah, all right. Who is Atandi? I, I really, I feel like Bilbo, but in the Lord of the Rings, I know half of you, and I don't know, I don't know you half as well as I should like, but I'm happy that there are a lot of new people. Um, especially, I want to welcome Juan Daniel. I don't know who Nori is. Omar is coming for the first time, but I know him. Raúl, I don't know who you are. Welcome. And Sociedad Talking Peruana, Hector, thank you for coming. Who, we, who are you? Who is it, precious? Oh. <laughs> Atandil, friend of men for your name, Alexander. Oh, wow. It's nice. Sounds nice. So we have four people here. Yeah, Norway, I know you are anonymous. <laughs> um, I don't need Hector. Uh, Gabriel, that's 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 around there, isn't it? <laughs> or Rosa, I don't know. One second, please. I'm getting okay. We can wait. Who is Tauriel? Well, the only girl I see is Rose. Rose, is it you? Is it you? Is it me? Thanks, us. HD. Jesus Christ. Ah, Hector. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Are you Tauria? Is anyone else coming? Yeah, yeah. HD is Hector. Well, you can join any moment, no problem. I'll put the link again, just in case. RL, Raul Lucas? No. <laughs> and what's the L? Okay. Who is it? Okay, there. let's start. So you can see the screen, but on your device, you will see the options, but you will see the options here as well. Um, <laughs> you didn't do the homework, but that's why we were checking the, the summary. Rose, come on. <laughs> also, it's not all questions. We're learning. Okay. Um, unmute. 
some music. I want to have the chat here so I can see it. Okay, let's start. I'll leave it open so you can enter. Okay. Well, so just to repeat that we have read chapters one to three, supposedly. <laughs> so can you tell in which chapter these events happen? <laughs> Question one, true or false? Gollum appears in chapters one, two, and three. Answer, answer now and never. True or false? Uh, it's false. Who said true? It's, I suppose it's the person is just joking. But the good thing is that Gollum will appear in chapter five. <laughs> but he hasn't appeared just yet. Oh, very good at that. Next question. In this chapter, we learn why Thorin and his company want to go to Erebor. In chapter one, two, three, or he never tells. In what chapter does Thorin tell us that why he wants to go to Erebor? Not in the movie, in the book. In chapter one, two, three. In chapter one, we learned it, the first the song. We, we learned all about it in, in chapter one. If I am wrong, please correct me. I hope I am not. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we're taking the lead now. Next question. In chapter one, the dwarves sing how many songs? One, two, three songs. Or maybe they don't sing in chapter one. I'm talking chapter one. Because we, we read a lot of it. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I don't know why Kahoot just mixes the numbers. They should be just one, two, three, right? So I get super confused. The answer is two. The answer is two because they sing two songs. And we do see the two songs in the in the movie. I think the first chapter is like completely uh, well done <laughs> there in the movie. And I really like it. I say I said it. There are two songs, the song about plates and the song about the, the mountain, no? The, that song. The one that Hector didn't want to sing. If you had sung the song, <laughs> we could have had the answer. Okay, next. Uh -huh. Not always on fire. Now, I said, What's the plural of dwarf. Dwarves. Do this, you're going to change the F to a V and add a Z. Dwarves, 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 dwarves. So last time we saw two things. Oh wait, a couple of things about pronunciation. So today I'm repeating them because when we were reading, uh, it's stuck in our mind to read A-R as R, right? And also in English it's many times read that way. But this is a very common word in all the book. So we want to pronounce it better. Dwarf, sounds like an O, dwarf, dwarf. <laughs> dwarf dwarves plural dwarves yeah for talking at least okay truffles in chapter two bilbo saves the dwarves true or false there's some trolls there and somebody has to save them and it wasn't bilbo it was our good friend, the wizard, Gandalf. 
Mm-hmm. I see second, third, fourth, and fifth place changed, but not the first one. Next question. Bob, Tim, and Fred turn into stone in chapter one, two, three, or they don't turn into stone. Think. Think a little. What they don't. I'm not cheating. You're cheating. The answer is they don't turn into stone. I thought you got it right, Alejandro. Because who are Bob, Tim, and Fred? I, I don't know them. Who are they? Ah, I was just messing with you. Because the real names are, I don't know them, but something like Tom and, and, and Aaron and Will, William. <laughs> it's, it's some other three names, <laughs> but not these ones. Nothing moves because you all got it wrong. <laughs> okay, that was me. So this is easier. In chapter two, in chapter two, the trolls finally baked, boiled, grilled their food or stayed hungry. Tom, Bert, and Will. Uh huh. Yes. Or I don't know. No, I have to check. I have my book here. Ah. Uh, oh. Wow. Unbelievable. This is the first time you all got it right. The potatoes. No. The dwarves. Um. So there's William. And there's um, Bert. Yes. Anton, yes, that's right. Bert Ber Bertel in Spanish, I guess. Okay, very good. Very good, and nothing moved. Okay, so again, we saw one of the most challenging things also is pronouncing the simple past final ED. So again, we're going to see a lot of words of this sort, we always do. So repeating what we said last time, if what well, the rule is that you only pronounce ed as an additional syllable, uh, well, what well, syllable meaning it's different, right? I was thinking that maybe I just say the syllables, but in English, the, the syllables are, are, are thought differently uh, in Spanish. Right, because in Spanish it's easier to to say mama and separate it, but in English sometimes there's like sprints, and it's just one syllable because there's one vowel sound sound also, not even the letter. If there's just one vowel sound, it's a syllable. So only we add a vowel sound, the e in ed, when the the base form of the verb ends in t or d. And in the rest, we don't add an additional syllable. We just add an additional sound. Like here, infest, infested is a past. Sound, sounded. But only because infest and sound end in a D. But the past of climb that ends in an M sound, the B silent, is climbed. Climbed, no climate or climate. No, it's just climbed. Only, only one syllable, climbed. And the same help, helped is a past, only one syllable. So what words are we gonna read? Shivered, past, seemed, unexpected, because it has a T, unexpected, ruled, filled, imagined. So in all of these words, most of the words don't have an extra ed. We only pronounce the extra sound of the D. Sometimes sounds like a T or a D. It doesn't matter. The thing is that you don't pronounce an additional syllable. And so you will be understood better. Okay. That was the final lesson. True or false. In chapter three, the company meet all wrong. We read it. 
if we didn't read the book, we read the summary. Did you read the summary? Were you paying attention? Half was paying attention, half wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yes. Oh, you weren't paying attention. You didn't read. Ah, oh, shame on you. <laughs> so yes. Yeah. Oh, I was I was surprised. Shame on your cow. I was surprised also when reading or rereading that all of these characters are there, right? Elrond. Okay, so in chapter three, they did meet Elrond. Elrond. Ah, aha, there was a change. There was a change. Mm, the question is, but they don't go to Rivendell, right? Continuing. In chapter three, they meet Elrond but they don't go to Ravenclaw. They do, of course, they meet and run there. Very good. Almost. <laughs> okay. In chapter three, an important dwarf is mentioned. Who? Who is that important dwarf? Thorin, Gudin, Gimli, or no dwarf is mentioned in chapter three. Oh, almost. <laughs> Durin and all the line of the Durin. <laughs> oh no, shame on your time. In in this um, well, in this in this next chapter, I, in all the chapters, mm, there are a lot of words that I repeat a lot. One of those words is mountain. Um, so there's a rule. Most of the time, the O U is pronounced ow, and in this case, the A I in mountain is just pronounced ten in British English and nothing in American English. Uh, Meowton, something, no, not really, but, so here we have somebody pronounce it. In British English, this is normally said as mountain, mountain. Mountain. In American English, it is usually pronounced as mountain, mountain. In British, it's mountain, in American, mountain. But the thing is that this is an owl, mount, mount doom, mountain. And this is just 10, you don't have to say tying or tang, it's not necessary, just 10, mountain. Repeat after me, mountain, that's fine. Um, we're going to see this pattern in other words, for example, out is very common. You say in and out, boulder, now. Uh, it also works for O-W, now, down. And well, last question. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Only four people. There were six. <laughs> there are only four, but the four are ready, so that's good. Okay, so third place. Juan Daniel, congratulations. Atandil, second place. And first place goes to Norwin Narwal Daron. He wants a book. Who offered the book? I didn't offer a book. Did you hear me offering a book? But maybe next month we can have a book for the winner. Next month. <laughs> okay, very good. So now we're going to read. Um, as we did last time, uh, well, we can also see who else, who else was there, but I didn't see <laughs> who else was there. Yeah, well, thank you, thank you. You don't appear on the list, but no, you you should appear. You will appear. Don't worry. 